Hey guys, Beniniac here. So today I'm going to be making a video about all the reasons why you should consider adopting a vegan lifestyle. And I know I've talked about this plenty of times before, but I'm going to condense all the reasons into just this one video for anyone who is curious about this lifestyle. So first we're gonna talk about the actual diet. A lot of people come to this lifestyle because they wanna change their diet and they wanna achieve better health. And you see all these celebrities and athletes adopting a vegan lifestyle because of health reasons. So let's talk about that first. Before you do anything, please watch the documentary called Forks Over Knives. It's available on Netflix, online. This documentary will explain everything you need to know about plant-based nutrition and how it affects your long-term health. If you're into reading, I'd highly recommend checking out The Starch Solution by Dr. John McDougall, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease by Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, The China Study by Dr. T. Colin Campbell, and Dr. Neil Barnard's Program for Reversing Diabetes. So in a nutshell, this is a whole foods plant-based diet. So ideally it's low in fat, free of animal products and processed foods. And no, you don't have to eat tofu or soy products. You just eat real foods. The foods that humans are designed to eat and have been eating for thousands of years. Foods like barley, corn, millet, potatoes, rice, wheat, these were the caloric engines that built human civilization. People ate a predominantly plant-based, starch-based diet. And these people were free of diseases that the Western world now faces. You look at the leading causes of death in the Western world, and the plant-based diet can prevent and reverse most of those diseases. There's a great video on YouTube, by the way, called Uprooting the Leading Causes of Death by Dr. Michael Greger of nutritionfacts.org. But what are authorities in the nutrition world saying about the plant-based diet? Well, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics fully support a vegan diet. In fact, they published a paper in 2009 stating it is the position of the American Dietetic Association that appropriately planned vegetarian diets, including total vegetarian or vegan diets, are healthful, nutritionally adequate, and may provide health benefits in the prevention and treatment of certain diseases. Well-planned vegetarian diets are appropriate for individuals during all stages of the life cycle, including pregnancy, lactation, infancy, childhood, and adolescence and for athletes. So this is the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics saying this, the largest authority on nutrition in the United States. You look at someone like Kaiser Permanente, the number one managed care organization in the United States, and they put out an update for physicians stating, research shows that the plant-based diets are cost-effective, low-risk interventions that may lower body mass index, blood pressure, hemoglobin A1C, and cholesterol levels. They may also reduce the number of medications needed to treat chronic diseases and lower ischemic heart disease mortality rates. Physicians should consider recommending a plant-based diet to all their patients, especially those with high blood pressure, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, or obesity. So these are some of the biggest authorities in the healthcare field coming out and saying that a vegan diet, a whole foods plant-based diet, can help prevent and reverse chronic diseases. So if you're looking for better health, this is definitely for you. Now, veganism is not just a diet. And as a dietitian, I would encourage everyone out there to change to a whole foods plant-based diet so they can achieve their best state of health. But as I said, veganism is not just a diet. This is a lifestyle. People come to this for many, different reasons and I would say the number one reason you would consider yourself a vegan is for the animals and a great documentary to watch for that it's called earthlings hopefully I do not need to go into the details of this industry supporting meat dairy eggs fish honey leather fur wool heck even conventional shampoos all these products attribute to the cruelty of animals if you truly care about the animals and you don't want to cause them any harm this lifestyle is definitely for you so let's say that you don't really care about your health and changing your diet and you don't really care about the welfare of the animals well this third reason no one on this planet can deny because it's about this planet. A documentary I recommend when it comes down to environmental issues is called Cowspiracy. Definitely check this documentary out. It will open your eyes to the destruction that is happening to our world by the meat and dairy industry. The World Watch Institute states that animal agriculture contributes more than 50% 
of greenhouse gas emissions. That's larger than all transportation combined. Animal agriculture is responsible for 80 to 90% of US water consumption and 20 to 33% of fresh water consumption in the world. It takes approximately 477 gallons to produce one pound of eggs. Almost 900 gallons of water for one pound of cheese. It takes 1,000 gallons per liter of water to produce one gallon of milk. It takes 25,000 gallons of water to produce one pound of beef. Most fruits and vegetables require less than 100 gallons of water per pound of fruit and vegetable. It's pretty ridiculous the amount of resources this industry uses and no one talks about it. Imagine all the people we could feed and we could provide water to if we didn't waste it on growing animals. Not to mention that livestock covers 45% of the earth's total land. So these are huge issues that people need to realize. And if you wanna find out more about these facts, head on over to cowspiracy.com. So there's plenty of more to talk about when it comes to the benefits of a plant-based diet, as well as the consequences of a meat-based diet. But I just wanted to give you guys some quick facts just to get you guys started. Make sure you guys check out those three documentaries I talked about, Forks Over Knives, Earthlings, and Cowspiracy, best place to start. But when it comes down to it, this lifestyle is great for your health, it's great for the animals, it's great for this planet, it's great for feeding other people. So hopefully this video inspired you to go vegan. I will have plenty of more links to websites down below in the description section. And I plan on making a lot more videos on the hows to go vegan. So to give you guys a bit of step-by-step -step and little tips on how to transition to a plant-based diet. And if you guys actually wanna reach out to me, ask me any questions, you guys can always find me on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So make sure you guys stay subscribed if you guys want more information on how to transition to a vegan lifestyle. And if you have gone vegan, post down below any resources that you have used to help yourself go vegan. I also have a second YouTube channel called Symposium Films where I've interviewed healthcare professionals and vegan activists which may help inspire you guys to transition to a vegan lifestyle. So make sure you head on over and join the conversation. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.